what up what up what up this is mike the philosopher here with another one this one is the ready to love rankings okay for this week uh so without further ado let's just go in at number eight is kira kira can you please come to the front of the congregation okay i'm having some, i'm having some problems with you sweetheart i actually named i actually came up with a nickname for kira and the nickname i came up with is the pretentious princess <laughs> okay kira you just way too pretentious for me okay i'm gonna just be honest you're you're very judgmental uh you're very sort of annoying and you're just too uh too pretentious i see i see it actually getting worse and worse every week you judging these guys you judging them on you know whether it, whether or not they like sisters, you judging them on whether or not, uh, you know, <clears throat> you just judging them all together, you know, whether or not they keeping it real with you or telling you what you want to hear, like Marvin, 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 he don't need to lie to kick it. He he don't. I think that's his whole mantra. That's his whole mentality. He don't need to lie to kick it. So he's not going to lie to you just to please you. I mean, who are you? Listen. Kira is the type of woman who is very, very average looking. Okay. Let me tell you what's going to happen. If she ever got pregnant. Now she's a dancer right now. So she's in decent shape. If she ever got pregnant, her body will fall apart. Okay. With, so then she'll have a super average body. So a, a average body and an average face and, but she will still keep her mentality, meaning that princess mentality. All bad. Her, her low is, is, is very low. Uh, you know, her bottom is very low. So she's nice now she's a dancer she's nice this that and the third she i mean when i say nice i mean nice looking she's halfway decent looking still average but i give her about a six but if she had a baby it will her her bottom is so so far down that it's it's not even worth it it's really not Cause she going she gonna, she gonna pick up weight. She's gonna look very average, and she's gonna still have that mentality, that judgmental, that jump to conclusions, that pretentious mentality, and it's just, it's just a no. She's she's bottom of the list for me. Um, keeping it moving at number seven is unique. I wanted to drop unique all the way down to the bottom, but Kira is just, she's even worse than unique. Okay. Um, unique is still very, uh, combative. She was with red. She never really wanted to listen to him, give him a chance. However, I still kind of like some of the things that Unique say, and I still like the fact that she said, look, it, at the end of the day, it's just that he doesn't work for me. She didn't necessarily bad mouth Red. She didn't, she, it, it didn't look like she went to the other ladies and, you know, did some kind of campaign to kick red out or anything so it just said just for me he doesn't work that's why he's on my bottom 
So I respected that. I respected how she responded. I, everybody knew she was going to pick red as her bottom. And that's understandable, but she didn't do it to a point where uh was sort of disrespectful. She didn't do it to a point to try to tear him down or his reputation. It didn't look like she was campaigning against red she just said he doesn't work for me and that was that was the respectful part she do seem to be feeling uh christopher though um it's funny because christopher walked away from their first meeting unimpressed you know but she's still a cutie though so you know she 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 could get away with a lot but she needs to work on her friendly she's fit she's she's not really feminine and she's definitely not friendly so she still has some masculine ways as far as her thinking uh that she needs to get rid of she don't move in femininity and she, like i said she don't move in friendly at all so that's why she's finding herself on the bottom all right um her and Kira they just you know again you know the women that are left none of them are ugly let's start there none of them are ugly but excuse me none of them are ugly but they just um their personalities is getting in the way and their personalities is really was moving them up and down this uh this ranking for the most part you know for the most part not all of it some a lot has to still do with looks but <clears throat> for the most part and that's why you have unique at number seven um you know one could argue that she should be higher than number seven but she's missing two key components and that's that feminine and that friendly all right it's hard to put me put her above other chicks who who are moving better than she is i'm gonna just keep it real at number six it's uh janelle still I think Janelle um now some might wonder why why is Janelle at number six and she getting all the guys well she still got that physical part that that fit part that is not not there I mean she is the biggest woman on a on a on the show but she got that feminine and she got that friendly part she do got that um I like Janelle uh again I still think it is her representative I still think it's her representative because when she was rocking with Red, okay, she showed a little jealousy. She showed a little insecurity. She showed things, but she she moved off of Red. She got she got Herbert and uh, Quentin now, so she's not showing that side of her personality as much. So it's 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 being kind of uh, hidden for the most part and why because she got she's spoiled with choice right now she got she got choices so there's no need to be uh you know jealous or anything when you got two guys who are fighting hard for you you got you got the advantage so you're not you know she ain't even checking for red no more she she checking for other guys so you know she has um a, a a great personality but i'm still going to say that is probably her representative um they must be having some fire conversations over the phone that's the only thing i can think of they must really be having some fire conversations over the phone because um you know i'm not even sure how it got to this point yeah, but nice enough woman attractive enough don't get me wrong but I still feel like it's her her rep and me as a guy I wouldn't necessarily trust it but that's just 
because I'm probably more experienced than those guys when dealing with women. So um, mainly because I'm probably a little older than them. So, so I wouldn't trust it, but nonetheless, a great woman with great qualities, I would just like to see the real Janelle. That's all. At number five, is Sierra um you know I like Sierra but I'm 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 struggling a little bit because uh I think she should be higher to be honest but it's hard for me to put her higher because the other the other ladies you know they pretty much earn a spot in the in the in the in the higher rankings but sierra is down to earth um she is down to earth she has a, a great personality um she may move up the rankings next week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put it that way because uh, I'm I'm starting to see some patterns here, and I think that she may end up moving up the rankings next week. Uh, you know, a little bit of a spoiler, but it's not guaranteed because I got to see the next episode. But I just love this woman's personality, man. You know what I mean? Like, let me give you an example she went into the horse she went into the horse uh stable right and in, now the 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 normal chick would have said "Ugh, it's stinking here get me out of here i don't want to be around these horses no see sierra said oh okay so it's some manure things going on around here and i'm gonna need you to calm down <laughs> I just like how she handled it. It was very grown woman. Like she knew she was in the horse stable. She knew it was going to be stanky probably because, you know, the manure. And she just said, I'm going to need you to calm down. I totally, I just, I just feel it. I feel that I can, I can accept that. Look, you're going to have a reaction, but how you handle it is, is, makes all the difference it just makes all the difference how you handle it you know what i mean i expect a woman to go in there and be like you know have a reaction but how you handle it uh says a lot about you as a as a person as a woman you know and i haven't seen sierra be in no way negative any, in no way judgmental in no way braggadocious uh leaning on her career or who she know or any of that stuff very down to earth chick love how she move um and like i said she may even go up in the rankings but as of right now at, at, at this episode she's still at number five moving on to number four is still aries all right um Aries, uh, I do see a little bit of Janet Jackson in her. And what I noticed is, <laughs> and this is going to sound weird, but uh, I think RTL thinks she looks like Janet Jackson. I think RTL thinks she looks like her. Why do I say that? Because they played a Janet Jackson song when they were showing her and I realized that I was like wait a minute that's a Janet Jackson song I get so you know that song I get so lonely oh boy it is I have to I was feeling kind of like schoolgirlish a little bit I was like okay am I doing too much like let me calm myself down <laughs> you do it too <laughs> do you uh, intend on continuously traveling with work or you want to see not that? forever it's not I, too I can't have you gone too long oh really uh, not too long why I need you to come back home. Okay. CC me on the email. Okay. You tell them. When you up out of there. Oh, BCC you, yeah. so they don't BCC know. BCC me. Right, right. No, no, CC me. They don't so know. They don't know. 
I love flirting with Philip. I need someone who wants to be a father, who wants to be a husband, who is kind of settling in that part of his life. I definitely feel like we have a connection. Oh, you're so fine, though. You don't have no answer for it. That's fine. <laughs> That's cool. I can answer it. I can articulate it myself. But you I can just, articulate it. Rhetorical. <laughs> Listen, I'm just glad you think so. Or something like that. Uh, I can't sing. But that was uh, Janet Jackson's song, I Get So Lonely. And when she was sitting down with um, Phil in that, la in that last in that last um, episode, pay, pay close attention to the theme music. And it's a Janet Jackson, I Get So Lonely theme music. I caught on to that. Um, when I when I, uh, I I caught on to that and I was like oh my goodness even RTL knows she looked like Janet Jackson okay that's that's funny um other than that uh nice enough woman she got you know she got the two sons and she's she's filling her way around with Phil um I, I just I guess I would like to see more of Aries but that preview of her and and uh chris was kind of uh compelling she said it was tough to see him through that but she was glad he shared it and, you know i don't i don't know i don't let me just talk to the fellas okay it's, it can it's almost, it's almost never good to cry in front of a woman, especially a woman that don't love you. <laughs> okay. Only a woman who loves you can probably deal with that. Seeing a man cry, but women who don't love you and ain't there yet, don't cry in front of them, bro. So... Christopher, I mean, I'm not Christopher, but Chris, you know, I know he was touched by her and her sons and stuff like that, but some might think that he left a good impression with her. I don't necessarily think he did. I think he just, I think she kind of cleaned it up and said, I'm glad he shared that with her, but I don't think she was turned on by him crying. I just don't you know but that's 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 tomorrow on Oprah that's that's next season I mean that's next uh episode but a good woman attractive thick in in some right places um nice looking well mannered uh I still got a couple questions about Aries but I still think that she is uh, in the number four spot. Moving on to number three is Lee. Okay. Now, Lee dropped down. Okay. And the reason why is because uh, Lee is just I'm getting a little worried. I'm getting a little worried with Lee. And the reason I'm getting a little worried with Lee is because I feel like she is this this whole being conservative in the bedroom thing is starting to bother me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna just be real. I have to drop her in a wifey ranking because if you when she said I'm not even open to what Marvin is doing that was like, oof. That was that was a bit of a turnoff. I ain't gonna even front. I'm not saying that she got to be into all of that extracurricular stuff with you know that with Marvin and all that other stuff. But I don't like when a woman say I'm not even open to nothing in the in the bedroom or nothing like that. I'm, that means you closed off. You're closed minded. And I'm gonna be real. I think most of her exes left her because they were bored with her that's what i think happened and she said to marvin well she said i don't want you to get bored 
I think that's the reason why all her boyfriends been cheating on her. That's, I think that's the reason why all of them left because I think Lee can get a little boring. And this is why she wants a man who is high energy and turn up because she knows she's boring. That's, that's what I think. That's what I think with Lee. She knows she's boring. So she's boring probably to be with. She's probably boring in the bedroom. She looks good. She looks good enough, but the the men leave due to strictly boredom because she ain't open-minded to do nothing. And she expect you to do all the entertaining while she just sit there. And, you know, if she's not careful, she can start falling in the rankings pretty, pretty hard because that whole, I'm not open. Ooh, that was a huge turnoff for me. Huge turnoff. Um, she still looked good though. She still looked good. She still, I still like how she moved. I do like that. She still focuses. She, she's not a waffler. She, she. She got tunnel vision when she likes her guy. She still got a lot of great quality, so she didn't fall too far. But um, this whole conservative in the bedroom, I'm not open stuff. Mm -mm, I can't. I can't walk down the aisle with a chick who got that mentality. That's that's not going to work. Um, so hopefully... I don't, I don't, I'm not saying she need to fix that because it is who she is, but I'm going to need to see her. Some, some women are just, some women just want to receive from men and they don't really want to give anything to men. You got to look at a relationship as a give and take. Uh, uh, a compromise and you know negotiate a little bit with with the guy that you're with you gotta move like that you can't just be all about you and entertain me and I'm not open to that and all this other stuff that it's 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 giving off negative energy it's like I'm going to have to do all the work in this relationship and you just get to receive everything just because you a woman. No, that ain't going to work. We got to work something out. And if I feel like I'm not getting nothing, I would get bored with Lee myself. So um, if she's not careful, she can drop a lot further down. I'm just saying. Um, so Lee is at number three. At number two is this week, Katarina. Okay. Katarina is, she is um, still a phenomenal woman. I'm just not seeing a whole lot of her. I'm not seeing a, her, her personality take shape yet. I know her and Chris are still new, so they kind of feeling their way around and I get that. Um, she still is the best looking woman on the show. Um, but I kind of, you know, get, get better looks at her. And when she don't have her makeup on, she kind of looks pretty basic to be honest. Um, you know, take off the makeup, take off the, the, the wig or whatever. And, I'd like to see that Katarina because I'm sure there's a lot of enhancements things going on. I'm not even sure if her <laughs> her chest is is what is what you know is hers or or if it was purchased. So you know I had to kind of drop her down because of that. Um, she just she's still good. She's still a great woman. She could still get it without a problem. Um, but you know, I seen a couple things that I'd be like, eh, maybe I, I need to take a second look at that, you know. So, um, still a dope woman though. I like to see more of her. 
she had the disadvantage because I only seen what a couple episodes of her. So, um, even, even though I still had her at number one with just the first episode, but I just think that now that I got a better look at her and seeing her without the makeup and stuff, it kind of makes, you know, sense to probably drop her because, uh, you know, she didn't fall too far, but, you know, I think she's still a dope woman, but we'll see what happens with her. Uh, but Katarina at two. At number one this week is Jessica. Okay. And the reason why I got Jessica at number one this week is because, first of all, she's still a, a beautiful woman. Um, you know, I kind of like the way that she moved with Chris and she kind of, you know, she did kind of escort him around, probably not the best move, but in a, in a competitive, in a competitive environment, I got to kind of, you know, I, I can't really blame her. I can't really blame her in a competitive environment. She just wanted her guy to stick around. You know what I mean? It showed me that she cared. You know what I mean? Um, another thing is she was given a lot of girlfriend energy. Um, uh, she had Chris. She, you know, walked him to the car, holding his hand and stuff, showing she could be affectionate, feminine, uh, friendly. You know, um, <clears throat> I know that she's not a person who can do a lot of cooking, do a lot of uh, I guess you could say domestics. I don't know, but I still think that she's a good woman in how she is. She seemed, she seemed very, she seemed the most intentional this, this episode with Chris and trying to get him to, you know, stay on the show at the same time, put her bid in as his, his number one walking him to the car, holding his hand, you know, being, and you know, and not only that, but she seemed to take a bit of a leadership role when it came to the elimination. You know, she did that, I, I guess you could say as elegantly as possible and uh, show some leadership skills and stuff. And, and all of that was all good. All of that was all good. So, uh, for that reason, I have to give it to Jessica this week. She is at uh, number one. Um, so there you have it. Jessica, number one. Katarina, number two. Number three is Lee at number four. Aries, five. Sierra, six. Janelle, seven is uh, unique. And then eight is Kira, um, there you have it for this week's rankings of RTL. Let me know what y'all think. Did I get something right? Did I get something wrong? Did y'all see something different? Put it in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Hit that like, share, and subscribe for real. All right. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.